Hey guys, it's Haley. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a video in the salon talking about how I combat oily hair and style my day two and three hair. I'm always telling my clients, just for the sake of your color and your natural oils, you want to try to go at least every other day with shampooing. My hair is actually getting stripped of its natural oils, which is causing it to overproduce oil. So if you wash hair every day and you say it's because it's greasy, you're actually making it even more greasy by washing it every day. So if you're interested to see my tips and tricks for greasy hair and styling day two and three hair then just keep watching okay guys so this is what I'm starting with I've been wearing a hat all morning because my hair is greasy and gross this is either day two or three um, and I know it's coming here to film this so I've been wearing a hat because I can't go out in public with my hair like the second day or even especially the third not even the second without styling it so as you can see like this is what we're working with got hat hair it's greasy kind of stuck to my head and this is what we're gonna work with. First thing we're gonna do is curl it, then we'll kind of worry about um, the oil. So I am just gonna brush out my hair, slick it on down to my head, because it's greasy, but. Really you can use any curling iron you want, but I get a lot of questions on this, especially from my clients when I use it on them. And this is what it looks like, it's the beach wind. And it's just got the on button, this is like for the heat settings, and then two arrows that you press to actually spin the clamp and I'll show you how it works while I'm curling my hair but you just press which way you want it to turn with the arrows and that's how it works Okay, so I'm just curling my hair with the beach waver and I showed you guys in the beginning how I was using it But I think it'll be easier to see now that I'm kind of closer to the top of my head So um, what you're gonna do is just take the iron and take the little clamp at the bottom I put it halfway and then I'm gonna press the arrow that's going away from my face to turn it in Then I'll loosen it up a little bit add more hair And do that and you could even start all the way at the bottom if you wanted, if that's easier for you, and just work the way up. And so it's really doing all the work for you. This side of my head I'm just gonna spray it with hairspray this is my favorite hairspray it's by Redken it's the triple take 32 it's just a really high hold and it doesn't feel too crunchy finished curling your hair you're gonna want to just let it sit you're not gonna want to brush through the curls just yet and you're gonna want to either take a comb or a teasing brush teasing brush is awesome but if you only have a comb this works just as well too and what you're gonna do is tease your hair and this is probably like my biggest secret that I've learned uh, for combating grease and making second day hair work so what you're gonna want to do is just section off the top like this and then you're gonna want to either take your teasing brush or your comb and just brush down and after you do that what you're going to want to do is just spray it and then same thing you're just going to take this next section back comb spray i used to cheer and we would tease our hair so this just reminds me of that but like this one. and you can go as far down as you want i'll probably just like stop around here and I just like literally let it sit like this. And then I'll do this front. And so you literally look like a crazy person, but you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. And so you have your hair literally like this. I know it looks hilarious, but you're also just gonna wanna make sure that you have this back section um, if you wear your hair on the side part or even the middle part just so that doesn't look funky and you'll wanna back comb that a little bit. Spray it. So now that you look super silly, what you're gonna do is take either your teasing comb or your regular comb and you're just gonna wanna brush this top layer out. 
and smooth everything out. Just like this. Just on the top layer, um, you're not gonna go too much on the inside and then just back. And so you're gonna have something like that and isn't that crazy the difference that that makes just in your hair in general so now that you've teased your hair what you're gonna do is go in with dry shampoo and i have two here to show you uh the first one is my favorite drugstore brand and this is the batiste they make a ton of different scents and they have one for brunette hair and just a lot of different kinds within their line so this is a great one and my absolute favorite is the redken pillow proof blow dry dry shampoo this is awesome because it's actually a i call it a dry shampoo shampoo on steroids because it's a two-day extender so this is awesome to spray in right after you blow dry to help lock in that little tip that I have for dry shampoo that not a lot of people know is you can spray dry shampoo in before your hair is greasy to combat the grease that's to come so maybe before you go to bed spray a little bit in your hair if you want to just wake up and style your hair or before you go to the gym spray it in and then just to combat grease to come obviously it works on hair that's already greasy but that's just a little tip that I've learned so I'm gonna go in with this dry shampoo now and just spray another thing with dry shampoo is you don't want to spray in a line like this you want to spritz you could also spray in a little before you tease it too just to kind of help with that if it's really oily but yeah this is the finished I'll just spray it again with some hairspray and this is the time where if you felt like any of your curls came loose you could go back and redo that All right, guys so that is kind of my routine for my day two and three hair I hope you enjoyed I hope you learned something as you can tell my hair looks a lot less oily and it looks just super big and bouncy which on its own it doesn't ever anyway so that's one perk of dry shampoo and teasing so yeah I hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.